Welcome back. This is Linguist Shukri from University of Soma and Cambridge Institute for Teaching English. In this short but exceptional lecture, we will talk about the objectives of linguistics. So, let's jump straight to the topic. It's crucial to provide clear information about the scope of linguistics to those just starting in this field. To clarify, it's necessary to distinguish between what linguistics is about and what linguistics is not about. Linguistics is often misunderstood and can lead to misconceptions. To clarify, I will be breaking down what linguistics doesn't encompass in the first part of this video. Next, I will provide a precise explanation of what linguistics actually involves. So, uh, let's define the word linguistics itself. It's important to note that the word linguistics is singular. Therefore, instead of inquiring what are linguistics, it's more appropriate to uh, ask what's linguistics. Furthermore, there are numerous misconceptions about linguistics. So, let's get these out of the way. Linguistics is not to be identified with, with the following main fields. Comparative philology or, or historical language studies, learning many languages, literary criticism, and the traditional study of grammar. Let's look at these misconceptions more closely. Firstly, comparative philology. Although linguistics includes the study of language origins and historical language development, it encompasses much more than just these aspects. While these fields are important, they only represent a small part of the vast field of linguistics. Secondly, learning many languages, linguistics must be kept distinct from language teaching and learning. It should be noted that a few professional linguists possess fluency in more than one language. It isn't mere proficiency in speaking a language that qualifies one to be uh, one qualifies one to be a linguist, but rather the ability to speak and comprehend the concepts on which languages are based on function. Thirdly, literary criticism. Linguistics is primarily concerned with describing language use, including the patterns of sounds, the grammar and vocabulary employed. And the vocabulary employed. This doesn't mean that we assume the role of the critics. Why we do analyze language, language used in literary text, we aren't attempting to evaluate it based on aesthetic, uh, critical, uh, aesthetic, moral, and other critical standards. We aim to describe facts, not to pass judgments. Fourthly, traditional study of grammar. Linguistics. Uh, we, uh, it's important to, to distinguish linguistics from uh, traditional approaches to language studies that we have, uh, that uh, that we may have, uh, that we may have learned in our earlier academic experiences. There is an enormous difference between, for example, linguistics and a traditional uh, between traditional grammar taught at the school and linguistics. The key difference between them is that traditional grammar is prescriptive, which refers to the, to the collection of rules and uh, concepts about language structures. In contrast, linguistics uh, is descriptive, seeking to describe the actual situation, the actual situation and the use of language in speech and writing. After we discuss what linguistics is, let's explore 
the true nature of linguistics. Linguistics has primarily two objectives. Firstly, linguists aim to describe, uh, aim, uh, aim to provide accurate and, th and uh, sorry, thorough descriptions of specific languages. Secondly, they seek to understand the fundamental nature of language. To summarize, linguistics is a scientific field that concentrates on language study. It, uh, this encompasses a wide range of research questions central to linguistics and its related fields. These are the central branches of linguistics sound, structure, and meaning. Phoneticians, for example, are interested in speech sounds, production, perception, and acoustic analysis. Phonology, however, investigates the rules governing sound systems of particular languages and languages in general. The second branch, the second branch focuses on the structures of words and sentences where morphology defines how words are built and syntax studies sentence structure. The third branch is concerned with the study of meaning, which is the focus of semantics or the use of language and is its effects, which is the goal of pragmatics. Along with central branches, several hybrid disciplines combine their primary research questions with those in linguistics. Psycholinguistics is a combination of psychology, the study of the human mind, and linguistics. Computational linguistics is a combination of computer science and linguistics. Moreover, there are many more, for example, sociolinguistics, forensic linguistics, clinical linguistics, neurolinguistics, and corpus linguistics, to name just some of them. I hope this short lecture was of some help for you to have an idea what the objectives of linguistics and furthermore that you have that you you share my fascination on the field. To show your support, please click like and leave a comment below. See you. Bye.